Well, that front tyre hold up for Maverick Vignard. We'll get the latest information on Rossi and Vignard's tyre choice. Can he do it? Promise me that we can share the price. I might tell you the truth. <laughs> In the tyre. Uh, it would be a risk, but let's see if uh, it will pay off. What are they? Now, Crutchlow there, if he can do the business from eighth on the grid here today, he could leave here as championship leader again. Well, he's got to make this mark, has Andrea Vizioso sitting either side of him on that front row of the grid here. Vignal has got absolutely swallowed off that front row of the grid. Rossi was sharp off the line, he's still in form. It's back in front of him, will Mark Marquez go into escape mode? Is this already his moves are making the crucial break? Vignal is getting the gloves off, he's getting aggressive. Jorge Lorenzo, final sector here in Argentina, and Valentino Rossi is up into second place. That will make the crowd go wild. Look at the power and the grunt of the Ducati out the final corner. He blitzes effortlessly through again on Valentino. Move down the back straight on the Vichoso with the power of that Ducati surely. Jack Miller's gone back through on Maverick Vignales. Cal Fox is getting into a bit of a dogfight for second place. Marquez is still back in front of him. He's just stretching away. All right, but Morgan Valley will try and ride ambitiously around the outside. She's trying to go through him on as well. Rossi and Miller really getting up to next to him. Being aggressive on Maverick Vignales when he said he was going to do it by his first. So he's now coming under real pressure as well. Holding firm, Rossi stuck in a Ducati GT19 sandwich right now. Seconds faster than Andrea Di Vincioso. Two laps of the Argentinian Grand Prix. Right, he's now getting a good look at his mentor. This was more than his, uh, See, they do get racing, and this is the first car that's happened. Cal has got to come in for a ride-through penalty. He jumped the start of the British rider. What a nap. Yeah, a ride-through penalty. That's going to flash up on Cal Crutchlow's dashboard now. Hopefully we'll have a replay very, very start that day. But Cal Crutchlow's hopes then, they've got There'll be no podium return for Cal As He's 3.1 seconds clear. He's not even in the same shot as the rest of them. There's the helicopter. He's now trying to go up underneath Franco Morbidelli and almost gives his protege a little nudge as well. Partners in crime, they are teammates, buzz and buddies, but there's no love lost out there right now. Yeah, well, he's can hold in there with rear grip. Morbidelli and Rossi won't know, but they're not going to have Cal Cutchlow. He felt even though he was mined down eighth place on the grid, he could have come through and fought. Miguel Oliveira has had a brilliant weekend. Marquez is basically on the flat right now. Nobody's even close to the second place in the Vincio, so it's back of one four. Two was the Italians fastest lap. Yeah, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? Really, it really worked out perfectly for him. He wasn't threatened at all. Man, man A executed to perfection then for Marquez. Here's Jack Miller looking for great, great move by Rossi into turn 13. Well, and Crutchlow's here. Comes in. Yeah, Crutchlow's in. 141.17. He's got Miller and Morbata. Yeah, there was nothing blatant at all about that. Hard to see if he was perfectly within the, the rights of the FIM stewards to be fished out, but... I won't be queuing up to go and speak to him immediately, I'll be no Rossi without a podium in 10. He certainly wasn't a Jorge Lorenzo style jump start in Boston a few years ago, was it? That's Miller as well. So the two of the R46 Academy men, here's the boss of that Academy, balancing out of that final corner to make sure that Divizioso could not snatch it straight back, coming into two. Oh, Yamaha right now, and Divizioso will make light work of this. Anybody else in this race? Former teammates in Maverick Vinales is in there now as well. Well, that's that mistake by Rossi at turn number five, which has just given Andrea Di Vincioso a bit of breathing space. Marquez 5.6 clear on Di Vincioso, Rossi, Morbidelli, and Petru. Right into the tyres come to him, way to go here in turn last 18 laps to go, and they just fire three race there. There'll be one race to ten, he just sucked him in a few k's quicker. This is Blake Marker. Six places now. Lacious Bargaro is ahead of his brother in 11. Oliver is on for a some really number 13. On anyone that passes him by using the speed for Andrea Divizio. So damage limitation on what the man who's leading can do to him. And he has been able to hold up Andrea Divizio so this time around. So Rossi now. Race pace was looking all right, and it has to be said this morning during warm up. That's so we've got an all Italian battle raging here for second place. Rossi De Vizioso looking back in that beautiful mirror shot from Valentino Rossi's Yamaha to Andrea De Vizioso. High speed keep him behind. Turning in high speed corners, not really the forte of the Ducati. It was a perfect time to ride on board with Rossi. Vizioso hanging in there though. Marquez, but Marquez is well, 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 he's checked out, six and a half seconds clear. Roberto 
go-tos to sort of try and calm this man down. Tranquilo, I think Mark Marquez and we try to be completed. Here is Alex Rins then closing now on to Kaki Nakagami. This is the second half of races, it is the Suzuki. It's not that hot on one that time attack phase. We saw that from Maverick Vinales. He spoke pretty quickly then of Taki Nakagami, although Nakagami's late on the brakes. So just challenging. For a place alongside Andrea in 2020, he's the only guaranteed driver in the back of two. The battle for fifth and sixth, maybe even for the podium if he carries on this rapid rate of knots. Carles, whose plan went out the window as soon as the lights went out here in Argentina. Well, as they so often do, 39-7. That was nine tenths of a second quicker than Valentino Rossi. So staying with Valentino Rossi here, finding his time. Get three right and two. Every time he comes over the line and sees his pit board, plus 188. Well, Mark Marquez has dropped into the Trucci, who I feature inside the top five, or even fighting for a podium. Two communications, Lou Blanc in the podium battle here. He's got his hands full, just holding off Valentino Rossi right now. Let He's starting to smell like a proper podium. What a tick his moment, though. Here's the man at the moment. Barring a horror show, a mistake coming up later on, or another mechanical. We did have the change up the sprocket, of course, yesterday on the on the Honda. A very rare technical issue. Along the way, a few mistakes from other riders. The Trucci, a hard man to get past at times. In Argentina, carries with it extra relevant to risk compared to it. We're absolutely spot on. Well, this is where the damage has to be done by Rin. 
is round turn 11. If Petrucci's brave should have the swing, of course he has. It's going to be a case of uh, making a move pretty sharp. It's arriving at the like he was in contention for maybe a maiden MotoGP podium at one point. Where he really was going to have to fight his way through from 16th place on the grid. Well, there are two things as well that make the Ducati hard to pass, you know. It's got such good Ducati. It's one of the toughest bikes to race. Juan Marquez last year when he was racing the Vizioso and they've got so many strengths. So then, De Vizioso and Rossi have just thought about a look at the inside of the tree to turn two, but he couldn't find a way through. Three laps remain. Juan Marquez, we've not seen a lot of because he's home and dry. He's running to keep through all okay, game, so constantly turned really too late for Alex Rins. spot as well to Jack Miller Rossi that's for sure mm -hmm. guys, look at that by Mark Marquez Simon after Qatar and he said that they hit plenty of tyre lift a rear tyre and uh, it's, uh, I think it's got lift and it seems like Alex and the Suzuki are or, or one or the other or both. serious points right now yeah well, Q1 did for his challenge now so here he comes Miller's not going to get on the podium as well Davizioso will try and defend this just the one for for turn number five. It's got some super. Or is he? He's having a look. He's having a look. He sits up to Vizioso. The crowd here go wild. Turn seven. Both of them beaten up. What Rossi did there was tactically brilliant. He just tossed a bit. Crushes the opposition in Argentina. Back on the top three steps. It's second for number 46. And he's celebrating like it's a win. This, as the world championship leader. Crucial four points lost there then. Andrea Davizioso. That's what's happened here now. Because all the day in Vignale didn't. Ah. Yeah, I'm afraid Mr. Morbidelli will have some apology for uh, to speak to a very, very happy. Totally untouchable Valentino Rossi. It's been a long, long three years. He's now been a Grand Prix ride in the World Championship. He was six in Charleroi back in 1996 on March. Probably expecting it to come at the last corner. Just a the classic block pass, Steve. You see, look at the bit shown here because I'm going to risk a crash. Clinical by the doctor. 